Good day, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It's Wednesday. That means midweek update time, and a bit to get through in this midweek update as well. Um, got some good news last night, which was really nice. But before we do anything else in this midweek update, just gone ten past seven in the morning. We have one very important thing we have to do. Coffee time. I still feel like I did on Monday morning, that whole... <laughs> Alright, let's jump straight into the midweek update. We kicked it off with having a look at Corora 26 Linux. A um, sort of a Fedora 26 spin-off done by an Aussie. Really good distro. We took a look at uh, Android 6 and 7 for the x86 platform. And frankly, I don't know why you'd bother. And they're back out IT live stream conversations, as always. Monday was a little bit on the, uh, what would you say, was a bit slow on the uptake there for a while. We did a simple tutorial, or a KISS tutorial, on Open Boot Prom and how it varies across your Sun server and Sun PC platforms. Um, we installed Solaris 10, another KISS tutorial, Solaris 10, in TTY, so that you could see what the terminal throughput was, and better than what I did it some time ago. We had a change of plans um, because Nix OS beat me, which was um, no Nix OS didn't beat me. Void Linux beat me. That's right, Void Linux beat me. Uh, we did our Monday night backyard IT conversations. Tuesday, I really didn't want to go back to Monday. <laughs> we took a look at System 76's Pop OS, basically a um, Ubuntu 17.0, uh, what was it, 17.10, with Pop OS as sort of spin on it, I guess you could say, on the GNOME desktop. Not real keen on the dead flat icon scheme either. Um, I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. I know Mandriver's got it, but you know, I, I don't like it. I don't like the dead flat um, desktop themes. Excuse me, as I'm what, still wiping sleep out of my eyes. <laughs> we, uh, we went back in time to have a look at a very old Unix platform, Plan 9 from Bell Labs, which is another Unix system that's always beaten me. Um, so we had a look at that. Then Shader decided to get me into a pile of trouble by showing me Open Man Driver Linux 3.02. And that's put me in a right pickle because now I've got four Linuxes that are all my favourites. And as I said in last night's live stream conversation, my journey started on Mandrake and I'll always have a soft spot for Mandrake. Then we had our backyard IT live stream conversations, questions and answers, any help needed. And um, a few people there needed some help last night. And then at about, would have been about nine o'clock last night, my time. And I get a uh, notification on the backyard IT Facebook group from a viewer and subscriber here on the YouTube channel, Peter Fackrell. And I was a little bit surprised. Just before I sat down to watch the news last night, OpenBSD was still sitting at 6.1. By 9 o'clock last night, OpenBSD released 6.2. Sweet. 6.2 is out. The good news... They're still supporting my mammoth server out in the workshop. They've still got Sun4U support. And I hope, not just for my sake, but other people out there with, with Sun4U servers that OpenBSD continue to support the Sun4U platform. I know it's getting old, but I'd like to see them continue support for it. But the good news is I can put 6.2 out onto the e-server. Well, not yet. <laughs> 6.2 is 
So 6.2 is out. So I'm really happy about that. Now, what does that mean for content here today? Well, we've got a bit of it coming up today. We're going to take a look at Mangerio Linux, um, which I've noticed that English Bob is using, Steve's using. Um, so we're going to kick that off and um, give it the backyard IT treatment and have a bit of a sticky beak at it. We're also going to road test OpenBSD 6.2. Now, at this stage, there are the there's no 6.2 packages yet available for Spark 64. Um, now, how long that takes to migrate over, I don't know yet. Um, I do know that there are packages available for i386 and AMD 64. They've made a number of changes. Some of the changes don't necessarily affect me per se, especially when it comes to VLANs and everything, because um, I'm not running VLANs here. So, but there are some programmatic changes, I think is probably the best way of saying it. Um, certain files have been you know, reworked and stuff like that. So we're going to be taking a look at OpenBSD 6.2 for AMD 64 specifically, owing to the fact that the E serves a 64-bit system anyway, so it's pointless me going with an uh, OpenBSD i386 test because that's just silly. So we're going to take a look at that. And um, we're going to try and see if I can resurrect that Dell XPS laptop as well. Now, what's the commented on my vlog on the other channel don't forget, if you want to catch up with what else has been happening on the channel and what else I've been up to through the week, don't forget to subscribe to Backyard IT Vlogs and other stuff. He wanted to know about what's happening with the mower. Well, at this point in time, nothing. The reason it's on the back burner is this sort of stuff. Um, now, obviously, with me getting pinged by YouTube a lot at the moment, this isn't easy to come by. So... Um, at this stage, uh, it will remain on the back burner until I've got enough, you know, folding stuff <laughs> in order to go and get the um, the blade. Uh, the blades for that mower of mine are around the forty dollar Oz mark, 40, 40 Australian bucks. Um, so it's going to have to wait until I can get some cash up for that. So, but we'll get there. We will get there. Anyway, stick around. Bit coming up today. It'll be coming up later in the day as well that we'll take a look at OpenBSD 6.2 and Mangerio Linux. I've got to head off shortly and I'll be gone for around two or three hours. Um, so I'll start getting the content, content out sort of late morning my time today. We will catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all your support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.